continue on with energy and power. We are often concerned with this word called efficiency. How efficient are you? The idea of efficiency is that is everything you do actually useful? Are you making any waste? Are you allowing any waste? In that sense, in terms of physics, the efficiency of some kind of action is equal to the amount of work that you got out. Then the keyword here is useful work that you get out. Technically, you get all your energy back, but they are not all useful. Divided by how much energy you invested or put in in the first place. Since these both happen over the same time, you can also talk about useful power out over power in. And that's the whole idea of efficiency. Sometimes you multiply by 100% just to make it a percentage, and that's it. Here they also reference another thing, which I want to briefly talk about. They talk about the amount of energy you consume as a person. There's this table I took straight from your textbook. It's the energy and oxygen consumption rate. Sorry for the bad contrast. I'm gonna get rid of that. On this chart, there's some fun stuff. I mean, even if you're just sitting around, not doing anything, you consume a lot of energy just to keep you alive. Now, you could argue that keeping your life is useful, but in terms of, say, your employer, that's not very useful. So maybe we won't consider that as useful work. So you have 0% efficiency if you're just sitting around doing nothing. But here, they're specifically talking about you on a treadmill giving that much output while consuming so much oxygen. You're huffing and puffing, so you're consuming a lot of energy. And since they are talking about two liters per minute, that's down here, they're inferring that your exercise level is equivalent to cycling. So you're consuming uh, 700 watts of energy. Then the actual calculation is very trivial. The efficiency, which sometimes we short as F, EFF, -F, the amount of useful work you're getting out is given to us. That's the amount of work we're putting out and the rate we're consuming energy here in watts is 700 watts. The watts cancel out, we get a ratio. If you want, you can multiply by 100%. So giving us 14.3% efficiency. So you might imagine human as a mechanical structure is not the most efficient thing ever, but we can do a lot of other stuff as well. So depending on what you call useful.